Wife asks for open the marriage and cheated on me. After over five years saving money, my wife, 36 female, and I, 37 male, bought an apartment in Spain for us to move in the near future. We were super happy in planning how we would renew few things for a long time in five months later. Last year, my wife suggested opening the marriage for the duration of February, the month that I went to a surgery in my home country. I first rejected as it's not my thing. And after she said like that was what she wanted, I ended up accepting, maybe for fear of losing her. And I put some rules on place. One can't be someone around us. Two can be at our house. Three can't repeat four. We would never talk about what happened. First week off the month I did had a chance of having sex with someone else, and I just didn't want to. I didn't feel like doing that. Not to mention that I was finding out a lot of health issues like kidneys showing signals of failure, lumbar disc damage for life, checking for a problem on my knee, and doing all the medical preparation for the surgery. And that same week, she had friends that came over, so she didn't do anything. On second week, about two days before my surgery, she told me that her friend from work had friends over his house, and she offered our house for him to stay. I didn't like that, but didn't say anything to not sound jealous. I first heard about this friend in December. She went to his house. They invited me, but I was meeting a friend and didn't go. Their friendship went up very fast. January, they already were like BFF. On my surgery day, 10 of February, this guy comes to my house. After my surgery, we messaged each other, and she mentioned he was in my house with her and said me to not worry about. And I said her, I wasn't worried saying I trust you blindly. Not to mention I was with the anesthesia, getting out of the body full of morphine and painkillers, going through a lot of pain, so that wasn't something I was worried about. 11 of February, I go to my parents' house, and after a day where everything went wrong, I broke down and started to message her, telling that I don't want to keep the agreement, that is not something I want, that I'm happy with her, and I don't want to be with anyone else. And she got kind of angry about all that conversation, telling me that she does not see her having sex with only one person for the rest of her life. And now that I don't let her anything, she can't do what she wants. And when I come back home, we talk about that. And I explained her that I accept that because I was afraid of losing her, to be complacent and things like that. During this conversation, I'm asking her for stop the agreement. They kissed each other. After the kiss, she got a bit shocked and went to our room alone. Next day, I woke up. And because I was afraid and confused, I apologized her about last night conversation and told her we could keep the marriage opened as she wanted, but I added a new rule. That was, I wanted to know everything she did. She gets into angry like texting, saying she's confused about me blocking the agreement, unblocking it again, but adding more rules. She sent me voice notes saying that's not a big deal as was for the month. I told her that was my right. And she had the obligation of telling me. She said that makes no sense because we both know that I wouldn't handle that well. And I said that was my right. If I could not handle, we break up or whatever. She ends this afternoon conversation saying she does not want to talk about that. On that same night, she went to a party with friends and co-workers. She came back home and we are chatting by message for quite a while. And I asked her if someone had come to our house to sleep. She's traumatized about be on her own overnight, so I was worried, and she told me her friend came home. We kept some more conversation and gave good night to each other, and they start to have sex in the sofa and end in the guest room. Somewhere in middle of February, we had a conversation by phone, where we spoke about the opening of the marriage, and I told her I didn't want to, and I wasn't comfortable with all of that. She asked me if I had done something, and I told her I had the chance but didn't do anything. She said she didn't do anything. This conversation goes anywhere. 
Somewhere around the end of February, we had a phone call where she brings up this subject again. And we had an argument about she saying that telling me about the adventures was an absurd. And after a few justification from my side, I get angry and tell her to do whatever she wants and don't tell me anything because I didn't care anymore. And when I get back home, we talk about the future of our relationship. A few days later, on the 23rd of February, she went to a company dinner and they all end up in the pub. She came back home alone because the friends stayed on the street close to my home. She sent me a text message saying she got home. We chatted for about 40 minutes and gave good night. That was about 4.30 a.m. After that, she rang this guy and asked him to come to our house. They stayed in the sofa, talking and touching each other, until fall asleep. A few hours later, they wake up and went to the guest room for have sex again. After that, she texted me as usual around 12.30 afternoon. After that, I came back to our home, and our relationship was disgracefully for about one month. She didn't want to have sex with me at all. When we can handle this situation anymore. I opened the conversation about divorce, and after I stated to cry a lot, and she suggests us to give another chance. After that, our relationship went up very fast and stayed in a level that we never experienced before. A few months later, she brings me to meet friends and introduce me to this friend who she had sex with. It's a very friendly and way handsome than me. He's almost 10 years younger than me. We spoke quite a lot, only two of us. After that, my wife and I went out two more times where this guy was present. Middle August, she went to his house once for BBQ with all friends from work in a day that I was working. At this time, this guy is starting a relationship with another woman from work. End of September, after I had my an emergency surgery of gallbladder removal and was recovering, she invited me to go with her to his house for a BBQ. This guy gave me a handshake so long, looking deeply into my eyes that I felt very uncomfortable with so much that I never forgot. Their friendship started to get complicated as they have a lot of values differences, and she is the manager and had to report him. They ended up meeting in a pub for break up their friendship. End of November, we decide to go for a baby. No doubt it's mine. We, we had fertile tests and pregnancy tests for the whole month while doing a lot of sex while she was fertile. End of December, this guy leave the company and we get to know she's pregnant. Six weeks ago, I involuntarily made few connections in my head and confronted her about what happened between them in February and she confessed to me everything. Now I'm struggling a lot to deal with all this. She showed me her texts with him. January, they had some conversation where he was calling her MILF. She's about seven years older than him, where she just laughed. They didn't need talk over messages. They worked together. And when things was happening, he was in my house. She deleted all Instagram messages from February and back. Only thing left was irrelevant conversation. She asked for open the marriage. Against my heart, I accepted and not satisfied with that she broke all the rules except the no disclosure one the only one that was convenient to her. In the same day, I basically begged to stop all this story was the day she did something while telling me she wasn't going to do anything. Next day, she reaffirmed that she wasn't going to do anything and she had sex few hours later. She introduced me to him. She brought me to his house. She was going to keep this hidden from me forever. She is in a tremendous pain seeing my suffering. She told me she experienced that in a different way as didn't remember the rules. So she accepts the blame but didn't see that she cheated on me. She recognized that after a few weeks of we arguing about, I love her a lot. After all this, we improved our communication skills a lot. She's way more lovely to me now. We are having loads of sex now and better than never with her starting things sometimes. 
We are three months away from having our first baby. My life for the past five weeks is cry, have nightmares every night, feeling insecure about so many different things, have anxiety attacks quite often. I can't sleep without medication. Sometimes I feel better and we do can do things. I'm struggling a lot to get over all this story staying with her and afraid of if I leaving her and I regret as I feel she's the love of my life. I'm struggling to accept her version of the story where she says that the guy was only in the right place in the right time. She says that was only those two days and they never spoke about that anymore. As she's only three months from giving birth if we break up or give a time she will need to move to her country to have some family support, what will makes me lose the childbirth and I'll be away from the baby basically forever being an absent father. I'm trying really hard to forgive her. We had couple therapy last Saturday and the therapist said that she wants to treat me first. Update edit. I'll try to make a short story. February last year, while I was going abroad to get a surgery, my wife came with the brilliant idea of opening the marriage. I didn't want it at first, but ended up accepting with some rules at place. One can't be someone who orbs us, two can't be in our home, three can't repeat, four, we, we will never talk about it. First week of February, I got tender and had an opportunity to have sex with someone, but I just didn't feel like and didn't meet the girl. Two days before my surgery, she tells me a friend from work had his house full of guests, and she offered our guest room for him to stay. The day I had my surgery, this guy arrived at my house, and she tells me not to worry about that. I just messaged her saying, I wasn't worried about, and I trusted her blindly. Next day I had a breakdown, and at night started to text her saying I don't want the marriage to be open, and she gets angry, and over text she made me feel secure about she wasn't going to do anything. While we are having this conversation, she's in the sofa with the guy and they kissed each other and she went to our room alone, a bit shocked on what happened. Next day we texted each other and she's still angry and I take back the closing marriage thing but added a rule. If she does something I wanted to know, she gets angry saying that makes no sense and so she wasn't going to do anything and end the texting. That same night she went out with friends and bring this guy home and had sex with him. Few days later we had a phone call where this subject comes up and I told her I had the opportunity but didn't want and she tells me she didn't do anything. Other few days passed by and we had another phone call where the subject comes up again and she's really angry telling me that telling each other makes no sense and after an argument I told her if is that was she wants she can do whatever she wants and when I get back home we talk about this weekend she goes out come back home and after texting me for a while we give good night to each other and she called the same guy to come over our house and they had sex at that night in the morning after that, I come back home almost full recovered from my C surgery, and our relationship is not working for about a month. After a long conversation, we see decided to give us a chance, and our relationship gets really good very fast. A few months later, she introduced me to her working friends, including the guy she had sex with. We went out about four times in total, being one in his house. Her friend and she stopped their friendship due values difference and she's the manager and he's not a good workers, so she had to report him. November we decided to go for a baby. She got pregnant at first try. I have no doubt the kid is mine. December, the guy left the company. About 2.5 months ago, I involuntarily made few connections in my brain and asked her. She said she wasn't going to answer. I held that inside myself for a month and when I couldn't take any more, I confronted her again and she confessed everything I just wrote about her infidelity, lies, and gaslighting. My reality cracked in front of my eyes. I still really broke and don't trust everything she told me. 
I feel like she hide things to make the story less worse. I can't stop to think about talking to the guy. I'm trying to stay, but it's way harder than I could imagine. The lies and gaslighting hurts me thousands times more than the infidelity itself. Well, let's uh, let's check out the comments here. I feel like let's check out the comments. Open the relationship. Dude, no. This whole thing sounds terrible to me. I don't love anybody enough to light myself on fire while they go have sex with other people. Right. When they bring up an open marriage, it's already over. It means they are already cheating or have someone picked out. Your wife was asking for an open marriage. While you're away, you're okay with another man staying at your place when you're not there? Yes, it's crazy. I don't know why these posts trigger me so much. I mean, because it's disgusting. I have to quit reading after I really didn't want to open my marriage. I was afraid of losing her. Yeah, he did say that. You already lost everything. 100% with you here. These posts make me sad and frustrated at how people treat themselves and let others to dictate their happiness, misery. You know what sucks, guys? Because I already know what the comments are going to say. And I know how I feel. Like, this dude is, I don't know why he's so lost. And just reading that, I don't want to lose her or I'm afraid to, like, why are you, why do you, why are you putting this woman as the center of your world? Like, why? Like, what is it with people that do that? It's quite, it's quite sad, man. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.